so... Is it bad that when I saw the creature over there, the first instinct that I had was let's run over to capture it to continue to boost Adele's creature comforts? Um, when it comes to continuing to boost our job levels caps, like, I know that I'm freaking viciously overleveled for the story and stuff like that. We're gonna destroy the rest of the story. I've come to accept this, which is why we're doing the challenges now, because screw it, let's do some stuff that's challenging now and get our job levels up and stuff. I don't know exactly where the portal is, but we saw it, yep, in the background of that one side quest with Gloria, in the background of that cutscene. Now, the first one of these challenges, which had Galahad, who protects, protects, but most importantly, he protect, um, Gladys and Glenn, the three Gs, was absolutely insane. Okay, so they're not all just like the same dungeon. Oh. Oh! The last one had three, and I guess the theme was like the three Gs or something like that. Whereas this one, it's weird that it's in Halcyona, and it has the four asterisk holders of Savalon. Well, I guess there's one more because of Prince Casper and such, but like the four non-end of chapter ones. Should I be worried about that? I can't save in here. Hold on. Hold on. If I can't save in here, maybe I should save out here because, you know, there's a decent chance of there being a game over and I honestly don't know when the last time I saved was. But yeah, you're not expecting Dragon Quest 8 Dark World to show up in this game? Yeah, so towards the end of last stream, we did our first one of these challenge portals that had the freaking whatever the heck the salve maker the shield master and the sword master that we got the caps up on and let me tell you it was so freaking annoying because we needed to take out the salve maker but every time he was near death and we attacked him galahad the shield master would just take hits and i couldn't freaking hit the healer i needed to take out who kept putting statuses on my unit healing up those guys yeah, Glenn kept healing, yep. So... I'm a little bit scared. Guzma says that this one was supposed to be like the easiest? Or the one that he didn't struggle as much in? So let's see. We're getting right into it. All the chapter one bosses except for... Except for Casper, I guess. We'll wipe the floor with them. Will we now? I'm sorry, but I have to stop you. Do you now? Do you have to stop me now? Are you sure about that? It's time to get serious. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have taken off Spearhead for somebody else. Yeah, look! Everybody is dual wielding now! Aw, oh, dang. I gotta reanalyze them again. That's irksome, isn't it? Well... I'll sit this one out. I hope nobody has, like, freaking counter default. Okay. That's fine for now, I guess. Hmm. I needed that. Okay, nice. Yeah, we'll get up to 1 BP with Glory. We might just chill at 1 BP. That's fine. Um, we might just chill at 1 BP so that we get, like, all the spirit effects and such. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do Fluid Stance, and then we'll go ahead and do our Defender of the People and see if we can build some BP that way. That is what I'm thinking here. We're jamming out. Definitely jamming out here. Okay. I wonder who we should go after first. Maybe Orpheus for like the buffs that he gives and stuff? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Nice! See how you like getting counterattack? Yeah, I'm feeling like we should maybe go after Orpheus first. Maybe, maybe. We're gonna build up BP for a hot while. That's what we're gonna do. So let's have a look at what we're working with here. Okay. Roulette wheel. Ten! That didn't actually do a whole lot. He actually did way more damage in Retaliate. You stole BP from Gloria, you freaking jerk! Is Seth wielding a gunblade? No, he's got two dual swords. That would be really cool if that were the case, but nah, he's got dual swords here. So now we can go ahead and do Fluid fl Frenzy, usable in a fluid sense. When attacked, hit back with a powerful physical strike that will steal one of the target's BP. This will happen every time the user is attacked until their next turn. And we can combine that with Defender of the People. So if you do any single target attacks on us, Elvis should counter and take your freaking BP as a consequence. Nice! Nice! You'll love to see it! Okay. 
Yeah, I'm liking, I'm really liking this Sword Master Shield Master combo, honestly. Look at that, he has freaking max BP now. Isn't that awesome? I really, really like the Sword Master Shield Master combination. I might turn down the game a smidge here. But yeah, one of the sword, one of the swords really looked like a gun blade from Final Fantasy VIII. It would have been really cool. All right, we'll get that one BP back and such. Don't you dare. Two. Okay, just a just a breeze blows as it does nothing. Okay. Oh, you have a lot of BP there, Bernard. That's a. Uh, scary actually yeah you are gonna go ahead and do your fluid frenzy you're gonna do the new thing Bob here of harsh reprisal to reflect damage back you are going to try out ninefold flurry on Orpheus see how much damage it does our new thing we're trying out a couple new things with you know both Sword Master and Shield Master, and then Defender of the People. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Booby Bop. Ow, rude. Oh, oh my goodness, it uses a lot of MP, but like. Okay, this is what I'm worried about, but like. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that's all his BP back. Oh, and well, I died. Does he reflect damage? What the? Oh, and now my unit is dead because freaking godspeed strike well Bernard's at minus two BP now because <laughs> you know some of that BP was stolen yeah he's counter freaking rude unbelievable well can we just take out Orpheus though is what I'm wondering can we just hmm like 13,000 so now that we have the skill that makes it so that we exceed the 9,999 damage limit. Orpheus is just dead now. Orpheus is just dead now. Is the thing. I'll just revive my unit on the next turn, whatever. You know. Unlucky 8. A 1. Okay. It's fine, whatever. That's A-OK. -okay. Ow. <laughs> okay, I shot a bullet into your future. You're already dead. Yeah, why is he not died yet? Ow It's a decent bit of a hit to Gloria there. There we go That's it <laughs> Okay, yeah now we have to put on the freaking thing again gosh darn it Yeah, Harsh Reprisal, Defender of the People. So yeah, Elvis is gonna be the person that takes hits for everybody and steals the enemy's BP when he does so. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, it takes some damage because of Bernard's counter and such. Well, thank goodness Gloria didn't get silenced. That would've really sucked, wouldn't it? Maybe we should go after Anihal next because of that annoying silence. All right, let's build up our thing, Bobs. Elemental wheel. Okay. Okay. Ow. Adele only took 10 with her freaking beefed up stats. I love how my dedicated tank is like half the tank that Adele is. Like, what the heck? So something that we could do here is something... Hold on. Oh, so we can't hit all with that on a target. Well, we can see if they can inflict a status condition with red mage stuff. Maybe. Maybe a status condition, if we're lucky. Immune doom. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Bernard's still recovering that BP from Elvis stealing it, which is pretty cool. Look at that, and they, they just gets a free full set of BP for that. That's crazy. I love Swordmaster Shieldmaster. I think it's nutty. Alright, and then we can do Ninefold Flurry. We don't even need to do Ninefold Flurry, though. Like... You know, because Adele's just gonna freaking be our dedicated deleter. We only need the one damage dealer of Adele is the thing with Godspeed Strike. Everybody else has, like, their own purposes of, like... 
Elvis taking hits, Gloria keeping everybody happy and healthy, my unit trying to set status conditions and completely failing. Like, all the time. And then... Sure, have fun. <laughs> like, my unit's freaking niche of trying to set status conditions doesn't really work a lot of the time. So if my unit had another more dedicated niche, maybe that'd be handier. Considering Adele just hits so freaking hard that we don't really need any damage dealers in addition to her. Like, Elvis can do some decent stuff, but the extent to which Adele does damage is so insane because of freaking comfort animals that, like, why would we, you know, need to need to do anything more than that, you know? Okay. Yeah, we take some BP for that. Elvis also has the niche of having invisible swords so that he can't stab him. Yeah, because nobody ever imagined, nobody developing this game ever imagined somebody would freaking, you know, <laughs> do freaking shield master stuff in the sword master class. Well, let's go ahead and arise. Get up, Elvis. We still need you for things. We need you to be our dedicated tank when you're not even our tankiest unit. Because creature comforts is so dumb, you know? Well... Now we need to do this again. And then, boop. Yeah, you're just gonna be the one to eat hits for everybody. Despite the fact that, technically, the best option would be, like, people hitting Adele. But, like, you know, that's not something we can guarantee, so it's better off Elvis than the other two. So may as well be! Oh, you stole one of Adele's BP. My oh my. Hello, hello, Morris. Nobody, no one expects the Sword and Shield Master. I guess not. Kind of like the Spanish Inquisition, huh? Yeah, I guess. So. Did you just steal 500 MP? Excuse me, you what? You what? Anyway, how are you doing today, Mortis? What? What the hell? Fluid Frenzy. We don't really need to do that. We can just do Harsh Reprisal Defender of the People. That's what we can do. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Congrats, you got the joke. Yeah, similar to my, similar to my sub alert and such. What did you steal? I don't even know. What are you gonna do? Okay, no eight, it came close. Nice. Yeah, Elvis is certainly something, isn't he? Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and magnifying glass the surely final one. Yeah, I think that we can take this pretty already. Good to hear that you're doing well and such. Welcome to more jank. Like, my goodness. We probably don't even need to use our specials here, which is nice. I mean... We could always say... I don't know, see how much this does? That's actually quite a decent bit, honestly. I'm gonna play through Bloodborne again with a be your favorite game of all time. Nice, nice. Hope you're enjoying that. Oh, Elvis is probably dead now. In which case, he could always just, like, ninefold flurry. <laughs> We probably don't even need to use that many Godspeed Strikes. How about three? 20,000?! We didn't even need the second hit! What the heck?! Oh wow, that did like nothing. Okay, cool. Well, two left. Ow. Elvis is hanging on there. Oh, and he's gonna counter and steal your BP for it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Bernard next is probably a good plan. I mean... I don't think counter applies to this, does it? Yeah, it do Oh, it does. Yeah, it sure does. Well, <laughs> Doesn't that suck? It's not like Fire Emblem Awakening where it's just close range melee kind of things. Good lord, at this point, Adele might as well just ascend to divinity. Yeah, she is just so much stronger than, like, all my other units combined. 
is the thing, just because of creature comforts. Like, I mean, I could just do, because now that we know that, like, it affects the whole party, we could just make an entire party of Beastmasters with just different, like, sub-jobs, and it would probably be stronger than this. You know? It is absolutely insane. Sure. Sure. Counts your any ability. Whatever. I'm surprised he didn't counter that. Well? No! Come on! Why did, Why should enemies get... Not even just the way that counters normally work in this game, but like the counter reflect damage. Yeah, attack everybody but Adele. 75! As long as Adele is standing. 14! Hello, hello, sir. I'll go for best ending. I don't know what the multiple endings of this game are. We're gonna see what happens. We're doing what are supposed to be challenge battles right now, but <laughs> she got literally a 10. Look how much damage it's doing to Adele. What? The this is how OP the speciality creature comforts is. Everybody else got wiped just like that, whereas Adele is like pff, barely even tickled. And they're all the same level. It's like, <laughs> what is this? What is this Beastmaster OPness? I barely caught any freaking monsters off camera since, like, I caught a few off camera since last time, but not a whole lot. This is mostly from, like, the stuff that we've done on camera of catching throughout this series. What the heck? How are you doing today, though, Cernal? <laughs> Adele, goddess of animals and thieves. I'm very tempted to try soloing the rest of this battle with her, honestly. Oh, but wait, I can't because he has a counter like a nerd. Gosh darn it. If I freaking... Godspeed strike him, we're just gonna die. So, like... <laughs> Things been good, just finished a quick stream, but trying to do one every night. Oh, it's nice, nice. How are you making like a dedicated schedule with that kind of thing? Or just kind of generally when it works and such. Um, let's go ahead and do a rise and such. Adele's the one person who does all the work during the school project. It really is. 704 was a critical from Bernard. <laughs> what the heck? My goodness. This is an example of like a group project where everybody is trying their best, but one person still just carries the whole freaking group. Sorry to iron out Abby, your wife is going to be joining you. She's gonna start making cosplay stuff too. Oh, she's nice. They were planning on doing like some cosplay streams. Like recently I did a playthrough of Assassin's Creed 4 in full cosplay of Edward Kenway. That attack does 5,570 or whatever it was to Gloria. That same attack did like 10 damage to Adele earlier. Like, for perspective. What the heck? On Mondays and Wednesdays, cooking channel with Nate, too. Yeah, I saw you were mentioning that in Discord. I'm not quite sure I fully understand. So is that stuff that, like, you and friendos are involved in? Is it something that, like, Frag is involved in? Because it does definitely seems intriguing how, you know, Nate's doing cooking stuff now. And how they can get affiliated after one stream and a stream and such here. Well, let's see what happens. A seven, huh? Six to, it's doing Look at that difference in damage Like 10 or 5 to Adele I was doing like almost 2k to my unit What the Beastmaster is so OP What the heck But yeah Producing a staff member they got affiliate in two streams Oh gosh, gotcha, gotcha. So it was after two streams that they that they reach that. That's still pretty crazy, though. Well, now we can go ahead and do this. But it's really neat to see that, like, you know, with COVID times, to see places like Nate's Restaurant trying out new things with that. I find it very intriguing. Well? Well? <laughs> and now Elvis is 3 BP. Right back at you. Almost, pretty much all the damage Bernard has taken throughout this fight has literally just been from Elvis's counters, is the thing. That's really cool, though. I haven't even advertised yet. For two hours floats between that. So you think that cooking might just be, like, hella popular on Twitch or something, then? Maybe, maybe. Let's try this. <laughs> Look at that crazy heal! 
That's insane. My goodness. Welp. Well, what you gonna do? 42. If only there was some way that I could guarantee that Adele gets targeted. I love how these attacks did 9,999 to Gloria. Whereas when stuff like that hits Adele, she just doesn't care. She could be pretty good, we'll see. Schnice, schnice. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how it uh, develops and such. 10 to Adele. 1,600 to my unit. 700 something to my dedicated tank. And then 10 to Adele. <laughs> Well, let's do this while his counter isn't up, I guess. Beastmaster is so OP! So insanely OP! What the heck? Like, it is- Beastmaster has to be one of, if not the best class in the entire game. Like, there's no way it's not, you know? There's no way this isn't just one of the best classes of the game, you know? My goodness, harsh reprisal. We can do our fancy ninefold flurry. I'm stuttering now because I'm losing my mind over how OP Beastmaster is. A literal meteor hits a Del Square in the head. 10 damage. <laughs> my goodness, really, I'm probably gonna buy this game now. Nice, nice. Well, if you wanna be OP, Beastmaster. There is a skill on Beastmaster that says increases all like if you get Beastmaster to job level 12 It has a skill called creature comforts that makes it so that it increases all stats Based on how many monsters you've captured and that's not even based on your current inventory It's just based on like how many monsters you've captured like during the playthrough at all It has nothing to do with your current inventory or anything like that. So, you know If you just take time capturing literally hundreds of monsters like I did <laughs> Literally, like, every attack just barely tickles her. Like, I'm very tempted to go with, like, a full Beastmaster team into the next battle and just see what happens. See if anything can tickle us, you know? I'm very tempted to do so. Looks way better than you thought. I actually prefer the art style from the DS version or 3DS, whatever it was on. Yeah, I agree there. It was on the 3DS. Like, it was basically the same art style. Hit Adele. 17! <laughs> What is this? Thanks. The gambler asterisk literally got the best RNG it could get with a 10. And that's what it did. <laughs> just wipes out most of my team. And then it tells just like, oh, you hit me? Like I noticed. What is this? Like what? <laughs> What it Should I just throw my current builds out the window and do full Beastmaster team and see what happens? Honestly? Is this two round it needs some blockage and pixels? Yeah, I don't I thought the chibi kind of art style was alright on the 3DS, but here it's just like eh, I don't know. Lancer, you're considering getting the game yourself even if you swore off because counters are fair and balanced. Well now you know how to be fair and balanced. Just freaking just freaking Beastmaster Thief. Half damage Urza would have normally done 1400 is what you're telling me. Well, Arise, my dedicated tank, who's barely as good as Beastmaster. Freaking. Yeah, that does like 1500 to my dedicated tank. And then my Beastmaster, who isn't even supposed to be my dedicated tank, just takes like anywhere from 10 to 20 for that. Like, it's... It's so wacky. An army of fox boys can defeat any counter. Yeah, like should for the next challenge battle, should I just try an army of beastmasters and see what happens? Like try different sub jobs and stuff, and just see what happens. Maybe. I want to see how much damage we can do in theory with this. Wait, hold on. We haven't really tried out a whole lot of attack commands from God. Whatever. I want to see how much this does. Definitely not as much as Adele, but... It's still pretty crazy. Dude, it'll be hilarious. Did he just take her out? Well? Level limits for the following jobs have been lifted. Bard, Beastmaster, Thief, Gambler. And because I put so much time into Beastmaster with Adele, 
we probably have Beastmaster at like legendary status. Diamond chest plate. What is this? Minecraft? The army of furries must arise. We could literally make our whole team here an army of furries. Hold on. So let's go into the overworld where there's music first and foremost is what we'll do. So we've got the level limit up for four more classes, one of which is Beastmaster. Considering how tanky Adele is, what if we literally just go for Beastmasters and different sub-jobs? Like, what if? Like, I am very curious. So let's see here. What did we just unlock? So we'll go on Adele. Yeah, she does indeed have Beastmaster to Legendary. Yeah, Beastmaster, Stormmaster, that'll be very interesting. Okay, come on. No, I want to see details. Okay, so the new things that we got on Beastmaster with that are Muzzling Maelstrom. Use equipped spear to perform four powerful physical attacks at random. These attacks may also silence their targets. Ooh. Ooh. Brute Force, a new skill. Increases physical attack by 50% when three BP are spent performing the Brave Command at the same turn. Whoa! Wait! <laughs> Increases physical attack by 50% when three BP are spent performing the Brave Command in the same turn. So as long as you brave three times to do four actions at once, you're telling me if I do four Godspeed Strikes at once, they're going to be 50% more powerful because I did four at once? Wait, is that what you're telling me here? Hold on a hot ticker. Is this what you're telling me? We currently have raw power of every use of the Grave Command. Increases physical attack by 50% until the end of the turn. Godspeed strike, more like one-shot strike. Yes, we're putting it on. Nobody else is going to be able to put it on yet. I don't think, at least. Like, we can check everybody else's beast map. Yeah, it's just Adele that has, like, all that extra time in Beastmaster. Yo! And then our final thing here is Nature's Blessing. Reduces the user's MP cost to zero for two turns. Hmm. It's intriguing. It costs one BP, so you'd be using, like, two actions at once. Just for, like, for two turns, you spend zero MP. So, I mean, potentially. But I have so many funds that I can just, like, use ethers instead anyway. Okay, so there's that. What's the new stuff that Elvis probably already had? No, he doesn't? I thought... Oh, because he spent that extra time in Ranger, not Thief. All right, so the new things that we got in Thief, once we actually level it up more, are Tornado's Edge. Perform an extremely powerful wind-imbued physical attack on a target. We saw him do that to, like, Adele, and it, like, barely scratched her. Dagger lore. Dagger aptitude is increased to S, so I guess if you want to have, like, S with daggers outside of outside of Thief and rest in peace. Attacking sleeping enemies will not wake them up. If you have a setup to put enemies to sleep, that could be freaking nasty. It's official Pokemon is the best way to play Bravely Default 2. It really seems so, isn't it? So, and then new stuff with Bards. Thank you, and good night. Perform a powerful non-elemental attack on all targets that may also put them to sleep. Oh, pair that with the thief thing. Dagger lore being an endgame skill is very weird. It really is, isn't it? Huh. Epic group cast. Targeting all enemies with spells or abilities will not reduce their damage or effect. That would be very nice on, like, any damage mages. More! More! Tora, more, more stronger now! Whoops! Extend the effects of all singing abilities currently affecting all targets for another three turns. Wait. Wait. Are you telling me if you stack up crazy buffs and it's about to end, you can just be like, nah, it's not gonna end. And then stack up more buffs and then... Oh. Nasty. And then the last thing was Gambler. Even more money. Peak earned after battle increases by 20% for every party member of this ability. And there's already the more money thing that increased it by 10%. So, if you're grinding specifically for money, you can increase it by a whole lot. Real elemental wheel. 700 peak. Spin a double wheel featuring both numbers and elements and perform powerful elemental attacks on random targets based on the result. Unlucky 8. Spin the wheel and perform a physical attack that will be 8 times more powerful if you land on number 8. And we saw that being used there, but there is a whole lot of ones. Okay. So... Okay, first of all, where is our next challenge portal? Is the thing. I'm look gonna look at this YouTube video here. So, the second one is apparently out back of Halcyona. 
and oh right up on the hill and such okay so we'll have to go back to Halcyona either way is the thing so for this next one we are thinking about trying out a full team of Beastmasters just to see with creature comforts how how strong we get and see if we can destroy things and then just have like different sub jobs and stuff to the beast army hmm hmm huh all right let's see here let's see here so this is gonna be so freaking stupid there's no way that i mean adele is so op there's no way everybody just becomes as freaking insane let's have sword master sub job that's what we can do i mean what is your physical defense now with creature comforts can you be my dedicated tank with the thing bob hold on hold on if we go to attributes what is your physical defense now 664 compared to adele's 590 <laughs> maybe we don't even need to have a dedicated tank i think everybody is our dedicated tank equally you know like, do we really need a dedicated tank? Okay, so then sub job for Gloria can be, yeah, white mage. And then my sub job can be, we haven't tried Hellblade before. I mean, I don't know. How about Freelancer for Mimic? And then we can freaking Mimic Adele's God Speed Strikes. <laughs> This is what we can do and see what happens. I like this idea. I like it a decent bit. All right, we're literally the furry army now, is the thing. So wait, I'll check my own equipment first to see how many like spears we have and things. Um, so let's see here. Um, I mean, maybe our current equipment is actually good for Gloria and Elvis, like our dual wielding sword dude, and then our rods for like our healer beast master and such. I might change that for my unit. We have dual swords right now. We could always go with dual lances and stuff. That would help increase things a bit. Just while we while we're doing this and such. Yeah, we're almost to the weight limit, but who cares? Because we're underneath the thing where Bob. Well, hold on. What is our whole party stats like if we do this? If we do this, what are our stats like? Well, everybody has 999 MP and 9,999 HP, except for Adele, because she doesn't have any bangles and everybody else had bangles, because they were, normally wouldn't be up to that. Physical attack, 686, 629 defense, 668 magical attack, 557 magical defense. What? <laughs> what is this, man? Let's go to the inn. What the heck? So, full Beastmaster squad, huh? So, about that. About that Bravely game is all about creating like a diverse army. And like your own unique combinations, huh? About that. And me counter abilities, I hate them so much. Well, so we did the last two challenges with our fully diverse squad and such in completely different jobs. Everybody has like their own niche and stuff they can do. But now everybody's a beast master and we're going to see what happens because creature comforts is freaking absurd. And why isn't this one activated? What? What? Do certain ones not get activated until later on? Comfort Admirals is a skill that is flawlessly balanced with per perfectly reasonable strengths and weaknesses. It really is, isn't it? Are certain arches just not available until later? Maybe this one... Maybe this one isn't available because it includes, like, the one job that we don't have yet? Maybe? I don't know. If I had to guess. Alright, so... Yeah. Who needs niches when you have damage? Look at everything running. They don't want to get captured and added to the animal, comfort animal army. 
So according to this YouTube video here, the next one is in Holograd, actually. I'm just going to assume that that one is an exception that isn't, you know, currently lit purely because there's one job left in the game and that challenge is the thing that gives the level 15 stuff for it. I'm going to make that assumption and hope that, you know, there isn't just a chunk of challenges not available yet. So if we go down to Holograd, if we do that and then follow the dudo here, so we'll come back to that challenge later, I guess, is the thing. 